Hey guys, welcome to the next weekly Krog vlog. Apologies about the condition. I've just smashed a gym session. Very, very hot. Although, although it's hot, we've been having some incredible storms. So if you see some flashing going on, that's why. Anyway, you have to watch last week's vlog where I got myself out of, out of condition, ruined myself and my stag do. So this is a perfect opportunity to talk about my next week, which is getting back on track. So I'm gonna list all the things in which I do when I'm looking to get back on track. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this video up into 10 of the things that I do. Starting with number one, which is all the liquids that I drink. Basically filling my body with lots of just plain water, black coffees and teas and not allowing any calories to come through in the form of liquid apart from protein shakes and things like that. So no calories through drinks and also caffeine to keep hunger away and stuff like that. So I've got black coffee I'm drinking now, it's quite early in the morning, um, turmeric teas, green teas, matcha teas, I've even got this like matcha powder which I sometimes make up as well and sometimes I have squash and things like that but most of the time just loads of water clear the system out and give my body a good chance um, to refresh and detox. Okay made it to the gym back at the gym today feeling good to get back into routine um, and let's talk about the next way I get back on track and that is to sweat it out to get sweating. The first time I sweated this week after that stag do I could actually smell and taste the alcohol coming out of my pores and that says to me well it's still in your body sweating out gets rid of lots of toxins gets the blood flow going it's so so important to get sweating and you feel much better for it as well but with that being said it's easy to just go in to think oh I just need to do lots of cardio but don't just solely rely on cardio my next tip my next way is to get back onto the resistance training program whether it's at the gym or it's at home doing not just cardio but strength work because you need to build the muscle back up you need to work the muscle not just think about cardio because if you just do cardio you're not going to maintain or build any muscle and to get back in shape like I'm focusing on is a mixture of both building muscle and burning fat at the same time and basically just improving my overall physique. Do you ever have muscle doms that are so sore that it just fatigues you? Like this afternoon I'm so tired and I think it's because my legs are so sore. Anyway, next thing that I do when I'm trying to get back on track is to fill my diet with as much vegetables as possible. Look at tonight's dinner. Tonight's dinner is a plate full of vegetables. There's some prawns in there, some rice in there, but really there's so much veg for a couple of reasons. In fact, lots and lots, lots and lots of reasons. First of all, it's full of fiber, which keeps me full. So then I don't have to get hungry on my diet. Trying to maintain my calorie count this week and get back on form is an easy way to fill up my belly and make sure I'm fully satisfied. Also, vegetables are full of goodness. Vitamins and minerals are all there. So it's filling the body full of the good stuff that it desperately needs. It's Friday night and it's 9.15 and I'm in bed. And that's exactly what I wanna talk about because the next thing that I do to get myself back on track is to really take control of my sleep routine, my evening routine, my morning routine, because sleep is absolutely everything. And as soon as my lifestyle goes all over the place, like last weekend and, and things like that, is sleep is one thing that gets massively impacted. And when your sleep quality is bad, everything else is just ruined. And you don't get the recovery from the training and things like that. So if I'm gonna look after my training and everything else, then sleep quality has to be up there as well. So making sure that I'm relaxing for the last hour of my day, I'm having a good seven to eight hours sleep, coming to bed early, reading, and then in the morning, making sure that I'm having the nice routine of the same time, evening and morning. And that's important as well, is because in the weekend, it's really tempting to stay up late, but the body doesn't know if it's weekend or not. The body just knows it's time to go to bed. So I try to keep thinking about that Friday night, here I am in bed. So. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, good morning. Didn't sleep too badly. Not bad sleep, although Pickles was interrupting us quite a lot. So the next thing that I do to stay on track or get back on track, pretty much the same thing, getting back on track and staying on track, is my 10 to 15,000 steps a day. 
me and Sarah have this great routine at the moment of half hour, 45 minute walk in the morning, fasted, just get out and do it, but just any time of day, really, a 30 minute walk to get 15,000 steps a day, that really helps. Hey guys, okay, it's Saturday now, just trying to wrap up work, it's like 5.30 p.m. and I'm trying to listen to my own advice about de-stressing and relaxing, because I normally just, my problem is, is not really working and not really relaxing, what I need to be better at is working hard, working deeply, getting stuff done, and then stopping, and then feeling like I can relax. So that's my goal in a minute, is just to stop um, opening my phone and just relax, and work on that de-stressing. But whilst we're talking about that, let's talk about the next thing that I do when getting back on track, and that is goal setting and increasing motivation. Motivation is a is an issue for a lot of people, but when you're getting back on track, or when I'm getting back on track, I set my mind on, right, what is my short-term goal right now? How long do I have until the next thing, the next project, the next trip, the next bad weekend where I'm gonna fall off again? There's short-term goals always, and in that short-term goal, I know exactly what I'm working towards, whether it's um, a weight goal, or whether it's I want to build muscle and just focus on muscle building, or want to get my fitness back up, or I just want to shred as much body fat as possible. I know what the goal is, and that just increases motivation because I focus on it every single day. So make sure you know what your short-term goals are when you're getting back on track. Okay, next up with getting back on track is all about tracking my nutrition and my protein especially and of course you can get back on track without counting the numbers but for me it makes a massive amount of difference knowing a calorie target that I'm aiming for so I know exactly what I'm having every single day to work precisely towards the goal so for example for myself 2400 to 2500 calories every single day is a nice decent calorie cut a deficit to help me work towards shredding the fat and getting back in good shape. And of course the protein, one gram per pound of body weight every single day, so for me, that's 175 grams plus. To be honest, today I've had about 200, which is absolutely fine. Um, so if you guys are going to get back on track, counting and tracking your nutrition and macros with MyFitnessPal is the best way to go. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. Okay, good quality sleep, quite happy about that, although I still feel pretty tired. Um, okay, so the next thing I do when getting back on track is all about the supplementation with the vitamins and the minerals. And like I said, it's really important to up the veg and the good quality food to get the vitamins and minerals in. However, it's important also to supplement to make sure that you're hitting those numbers and the vitamins and minerals because you can't always have a perfect diet. The last thing that I wanna talk about is the mobility, the stretching routine. And one thing I do when I fall off of track or I'm busy or a big weekend or something like that is not do my stretching because there's normally a precise time in my day that I get my mobility and stretching routine done, which is early in the morning. My normal routine is walk, come home, do my stretches. And if I miss that opportunity, I rarely get it done. So falling off a track means that I don't get that done. So getting back on track means I take control and get that 10, 15 minute stretching routine done because I, I don't know about you guys, but I stiffen up so quickly uh, whether I'm training or not, especially when I'm not training, and I'm not using my body, I stiffen up. And if I work on my stretching and mobility every single day, I'm preventing injuries from coming up, I'm more comfortable in my day to day, and I feel less stiff. So that's one thing that I definitely get back into my routine. Okay, just finished today's workout from Gym Fit 4, absolute killer. Um, it is Sunday afternoon, and this is the rig currently I haven't shown you all video um, I think I've done pretty well this week I didn't I didn't show you a photo at the beginning of the week but considering how I looked on Monday and Tuesday after all that alcohol and my stag do this is pretty good but for me in my opinion I've got a long way to go I know so many of you are like oh my god that's my dream body but other people I've lost a load of muscle and gained a load of fat so I've got lots of goals to achieve I hope you've enjoyed these 10 things that I do getting back on track and something that I mentioned a couple of days ago in the video was the things that I do to get back on track are the same things that I do every single day being on track. So they intertwine and they're the same thing. These 10 things are the things that I do every single day, okay? Give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one, bye-bye.